uh, today. Um, this is a message I have included in the bulletin if you're able to access it on your Facebook page. But if not, if not I wanted to read this. Uh, it's a word from me. Uh, in light of the significant spike of COVID-19 virus cases in our area over the past week, we have decided it is not in the best interest of public health for us to move forward with our plans for an outdoor worship service next Sunday. We will postpone having any in-person gathering for worship until we see a 14-day sustained reduction in cases. I will, however, continue to go out uh, as folks are waiting for uh, distribution of lunches on Sundays. I will go out to offer prayer and greeting to those who are there and a good and a word of encouragement. Uh, we will, of course, continue to come to you on Sunday mornings via Facebook live as well as Wednesdays at noon for prayer time. Uh, I miss you all so much and it is so hard to maintain this, uh, particularly as we see other churches beginning to reopen, not all though, um, but I remain quite firm in my conviction that these decisions are completely in line with the instructions of Jesus that we are to love our neighbors as we love ourselves. So I, I say that to you to ask for your ongoing patience. You have been very patient. I am available via my phone. Please, if you have a need, contact me. Uh, but at this point, uh, given what we see happening as more and more things have opened, uh, it is not my feeling that the responsible thing to do would be to have folks gather. So we will continue to monitor that closely and as soon as we feel things are, um, are, are changing in a way that we can feel comfortable doing that, uh, we certainly will. Uh, again, we're here every day, Sunday through Thursday, between 9 and 12. Uh, we're passing out lunches each day, and uh, we are also ministering to people one-on-one -on -one as best we are able. Um, so uh, I hope you have a, a safe and uh, fulfilling week ahead of you. Uh, we ask that you keep one another in your prayers. Uh, I did find out this morning that our brother here at South Main, uh, Tyrone Blocker, has been admitted to the hospital. I ask you to continue to remember our sister, Bobby Sickler, who is in a uh, nursing uh, or a um, assisted living facility in, uh, in Georgia. Uh, please pray for um, our St. John's Church family and all who loved her uh, in the loss of Fran Pinson, their longtime organist and also an, uh, someone who uh, assisted at Anderson University. We lift her family up in prayer today. And I know there are many other uh, needs among us. So again, um, this time we're given, we ought to spend at least some of it uh, going to God in prayer. Uh, so once more, let me just remind you what's most important, that we love God 